Good evening, everyone. So I have some vocal exercises I would like to share with everyone that I practice from home that throughout the years has helped me tremendously to hold a note because in the beginning when I started with the worship team, I would hit the flat area a lot, which means it's just right below that note you're supposed to hit. Um, so let's begin. But before we do, let's open up with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we approach your throne and we are humbled by these amazing gifts that you have given us, Father. So I ask that you please be with us now and help us to develop them so that they could be skillfully used when we worship you, Lord. I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so let's start. The exercise is going to consist of saying, Do re mi fa sol la ti do, but slowly. Okay, so I will first start, and then I'm going to repeat it, but you try it. <clears throat> Do. It is very helpful if before you start this exercise, you have um, right alongside you a nice hot cup of tea. It's very soothing as it goes down. Um, so now, let's try it for you guys. I'll play the note, and you guys do exactly as I did, and try to hold it for the duration that I did. You ready? Now, one thing that I would advise you practice is as you're lowering your voice because you're closing off that note you're singing to control the air so that it sounds less shaky. So let's do an example. You're letting out the air slowly so it's like taking a deep breath and instead of going you're controlling it so it's by doing these exercises you will notice that every time you go to it more and more you will have better control of the exhale it's kind of like when you sigh <sighs> When no one's home, or don't try this at work, do that exercise. You can go, <sighs> that's exhaling, and, and you're letting it out with like a little song. <sighs> so let's try this exercise again.
Now that last note, my voice shook a little because it got higher. And as the notes get higher, your voice will shake more. And sometimes you can't even hit that note. And that just goes according to the scale of the type of singer you are. The, the, are you a soprano? Are you a tenor? Um, but let's do the exercise again, except this time I'm going to press the keys and you try it, okay? Remember, you're not going to get it right the first time when you're exhaling. Your voice is probably, the minute you go, do, you know, it's okay. And as you're ending, you might go, do, like, this is why it's an exercise. You're going to get better. You just have to keep trying and trying and trying. And trust me, you will see the difference. <clears throat> okay, so let's begin. Now, for our sopranos, there's the next scale up, and I can try to do it because you probably can do it with me. Um, and for those of you that are not sopranos, you can try this, but I would suggest you, the minute it hurts, to stop because that you don't want to hurt your vocal cord. But try it each time, even if you're just humming it up. Okay, so let's try. You guys heard that? <laughs> well, I have a little bit of phlegm, which is why drinking your tea is so good for you. <laughs> but when I first started these scales, I couldn't go that high. And then, of course, there's other exercises that you can try. Um, this one, I would back up a little bit from the headphones and if you have company maybe you want to wait when you're alone <laughs> but I learned this from a singing coach and not my personal singing coach one that I, I watched as he was practicing um, it helps you hold it and it helps you hit that high note so it goes lower that because my throat is a little messed up but I'll try it again <clears throat> don't try this if someone's in the house sleeping or if your roommate is there okay normally you're supposed to be able to go like it helps you control from the highest to the lowest and bring it. So, um, let's close off with that one. I will definitely send you guys 
of recording of the scales so that you guys could practice it without having to necessarily watch this video every time you want to practice it. Um, you can practice it while you're in the street, walking, or you know, just doing your laundry because you could have it in your headphones and I'll play the scales for you. And then if you want to, you could sit down and watch the video and hear me scream. Okay guys, I love you.